Glad you can make it. Today I'm going to talk about language arts writing. Not the most exciting part of the test. This won't be very colorful, won't be very exciting, won't be, but it needs to be done. We're going to talk about grammar today. And most, yes, grammar. And mostly, yes, I'm sorry, it's a big part of the GED. Like 30% of the, it's just crazy. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to talk about exciting, exciting sentence fragments and complete sentences. Aren't you looking forward to that? <laughs> yeah, you are. I know you are. Okay, here we go. You're the one who didn't go to high school. Okay. Oh, that was nice. I know. <laughs> My bad. Now, I don't care what they call it in the GD, but really, what it really comes down to is called proofreading. In other words, reading stuff so you get it right. You have to find things that are wrong in sentences. Let me give you a real definition. Proofreading, define. Proofreading is reading for errors, mistakes. These include errors in sentence structure, which we'll talk about a little bit. Usage we'll talk about later. Mechanics and paragraph organizations. Today we're going to talk mostly about sentence structure. Sentence structure. If you saw my other videos, we talked about a lot of long sentences. But they're good sentences. The sentences you'll see in GED are mostly short sentences and they won't be very good at all. But you'll have to find the mistakes in them. What you'll be dealing with in dealing with commas and other things, is independent clauses, dependent clauses, all kind of goofy grammar stuff. You might as well get busy, let's get to it. They don't expect you to know the names, but you need to know the concepts. A complete sentence is an independent clause that can stand alone. As you probably know, the first sentence, the first letter in a sentence has to be capitalized and it closes with a punctuation mark. A period, that question mark, or exclamation point. Here's an example. Because, there's, I made a mistake, because he got paid more than he expected, yeah, I made a mistake. Did you catch it the first time? Did you see it? No, you didn't see it. That's the problem. You wouldn't pass the GED. Because, imagine, he got paid more than he expected. He opened the bank account. That's the complete sentence if I had he there. Don't laugh. Here's the example again. This time I remember to put the he in. He got paid more than he would expected. He opened a bank account. Because he got paid more than he expected, he opened a bank account. The dependent, this is the pen, this first sentence right here, this first part of the sentence is the, is the dependent clause. Because he got paid more than he expected, you need something else going on. This is the dependent clause because it needs or depends on an independent clause to make sense. This is a sentence fragment. This is something you need to catch in the GED. It doesn't make sense because we don't know what he's going to do because of his lack of payment. He could do all kinds of things. He opened a bank account. This is, a is, an, is an independent clause, but it needs, if it's going to be a complete sentence, it needs to begin with the first letter capitalize. This is a proper sentence because the subject, he, opened the bank account. This is what he did. It's a complete sentence. Because he got paid more than he expected is, an, is a dependent clause. We need the rest of the sentence. And guess what? Here it comes. He opened the bank account. Period. This is a complete sentence. There are three or four different kinds of sentence fragments. The first kind of sentence fragment, which means an incomplete sentence, it has no subject. Remember, an independent clause or a sentence has to have a subject. If it has no subject, guess what? It's not a sentence. Went to see Malcolm X speak. What? Who went to see Malcolm X speak? Joe? John? Mary? Sue? Nancy? Did Nancy go see Malcolm X speak? Nancy was too young. She couldn't have gone to see Malcolm X speak. This sentence has no subject. We don't know who went to see Malcolm speak. Absolutely correct. Your job on the GED is to fix it. If you fix it correctly, you get points. If you don't, you don't. One of the correct GED answers could be 
Aaron wanted to go see Malcolm X speak. You just need a subject. It could be Aaron, it could be Bullwinkle, it could be anybody, but it has to be someone who can see Malcolm X speak. Right there, make sure you put the, the subject of the sentence at the beginning in this example. And you also remember, this capital W went down to a lowercase w because Aaron is now the first word of the sentence. Same kind of sentence fragment. Because he got paid more than expected, the sentence is wrong because there is no independent clause. It leaves you hanging. Because he never got paid what? I'm sorry, because he got paid more than expected what? It leaves you hanging. The GED wants you to fix this one too. The correct answer could be, because he got paid more than expected, he felt fantastic. He felt fantastic could stand by itself, so that's why it's an independent clause. But it's preceded, because he got paid more than expected, he felt fantastic. And remember to put the comma usually before the independent clause after the dependent clause. Dependent clause, because he got paid more than expected, comma, he felt fantastic, independent clause. Third type of sentence fragment. The GED test tries to be tricky. You know, don't you know, that a complete sentence needs a verb? Yes, you know a complete sentence needs a verb. It needs a subject and a verb. Let's look at this sentence. Olivia making good grades. You're absolutely right. There's something wrong with that sentence. What's wrong with that sentence? I think this making is the wrong verb. Because making is wrong, the sentence is a fragment or incomplete. Now, let's look at this one. Olivia makes good grades. Makes is the right kind of verb, therefore, it's the right kind of sentence. It's a complete sentence. Makes, I'm, I'm substituting makes for making. This sentence is correct. Sometimes the GD wants you to add a fragment to an independent clause. Shove them together. Nancy loves video games, but here's a sentence fragment. Because they are so much fun. Because they are so much fun is a fragment. Because it's a dependent clause, but there's no independent to back it up. So the trick is you need to shove them together. So what you have to do is get rid of the period and get rid of the capital B and make it a lowercase or small b. Here we go. Nancy loves video games. The period disappears. The capital B disappears. We just shove them together and this is a small b. Nancy loves video games because they are so much fun. That's a complete sentence. So basically there are four kinds of sentence fragments. This will show up on the test a whole lot and that's what you need to memorize. My advice is to look at this video a few more times and look for sentence fragments in your own writing or anyone else's writing and also see what a complete sentence is. It has to be at least an independent clause with a subject and a verb. Thank you very much.